All right, I thought it'd be uh, fun to share with you where I am from. Your old buddy Josh here. It uh, might be a good. It'll be fun. Uh, I was gonna do. A, I'll do another video on uh, our house we bought in Phoenix. Uh, there's a real estate, uh, I guess, issue that comes with that. We'll talk about. But I said, yeah, it'd be kind of fun to show you where I'm from originally, uh, where my roots are. All right, so this is Peaks Island, Maine. There's Portland. Portland's the biggest city in Maine. Uh, 65,000 people is what's had since the 70s. 65,000 people is what it has now. It'll never be bigger because, as you can see, it's maxed out in space. All right, so I was born here in Portland in Maine Medical Center, um, if I can get this right here. Maine Medical Center. This is Munjoy Hill right here, the Eastern Promenade. This is the West Promenade where all the rich people lived. All right, here's Maine Medical Center right in there. And we'll, we'll come to this a little bit more detail here in just a second. But Maine Medical Center is back here. There's a boat. And here's the island I grew up on. So I think when we were three, we moved from here to this island. Uh, a very eclectic a group of folks there, hippies, uh, musicians, uh, recluses, the whole thing. They called it Welfare Island because it literally had uh, no one had jobs, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, you have to take a boat, and that's where you'd land right there. So you took a boat from Peace Island in here, and then you have uh, Fort Gorgeous, I think is right here, maybe. Um, and we had Battery Steel. It was very interesting. So anyway, so you'd sit, you wait on Cowsk Bay Lines and say, all aboard Long Island. Shabig Island, which is way back here, Shabig, Long Island, Shabig Island, uh, uh, Peaks Island, Long Island, Shabig Island, Diamond Islands, and these are the Diamond Islands, not really sure why they're called the Diamond, uh, Diamond Islands, but anyway, so you go Peaks Island, Long Island, Shabig Island, and the boat would come back around, hit Diamond Islands, and, and go back to Portland, I remember that, so, but no one lives out here, where's Cliff Island, yeah, Cliff Island is out here someplace, we also had Cliff Island, I don't see it there, but anyway, where is Cliff Island? Yeah, way out here. So Cliff Island is way out here. So basically, um, back in the 90s, Cliff Island was actually giving away uh, land because they had no kids to go to school anymore. I'm not sure how that shook out. I they're not doing it anymore. But so here you go. Peak Island, Long Island, Shabig, Cliff Island, and then back to the Great Diamond. So it goes zoops, like that. And we get boats every fifth, every uh, hour, eight, you know, seven fifteen, eight fifteen, nine fifteen. Then it's slow down during the the afternoon. Then pick back up four fifteen, five fifteen. So we get boats on the hour. These islands out here, I think, only got uh, two boats, uh, four boats a day. You know, two in the morning, two in the afternoon. But we get them throughout the day. And I think our last one was eleven fifteen. So if you miss the eleven fifteen or something like that, you're stuck in Portland, which is always a concern. You'd be like, I can't get stuck here because where would you go? Um, and I think the first boat might have started at uh, 6.15 or something like that. I don't remember, but be as it may. So this is the island I grew up on. Uh, then if you go out here, you'll see Bailey Island, which is uh, has a bridge. So Bailey Island, you might have been from, you might have heard of Bailey Island because a lot of tourists go there because they don't need to take the boat. They can just take a bridge there. So that's that. I don't know. I've never been to Bailey Island. Don't know anything about it. I've only been to Shabig Island once. Never been to Co uh, Cousins Island. Don't know anything about it, but it looks like you can take a bridge there as well. So these are the Casco Bay Islands. I presume this is still called Casco Bay out here, but this is the biggest island of all the main islands, I think, even the ones up north. I think this is the most populated island of all of them. Um, anyway, so let's go and see if we can see any images of the place where I was raised. And you got uh, Catnip Island. So we would we would swim... We'd go down here, it's Haddock Cove, or is that Sandy Beach? Maybe this is, you know, that's Haddock Cove right there. And we'd swim to Catnip Island. And I was never a strong swimmer, so I used to scare the H-E double hockey stick out of me right there. Um, but we'd swim there. And I remember all the summer girls, there's a couple of summer girls that were from Massachusetts that were gorgeous. At least I was a little kid. And they used to live in some summer homes right here. So they used to always go to this cove right here and we'd all the local kids would come up there and just like oh man just bask in the glory of these gorgeous girls from massachusetts rich girls and they're like oh my goodness and we show off for them and all that but we'd swim out here i didn't do it very often because i was not a strong swimmer but uh, that's what we used to you know some of us used to do not me that much i've always been kind of a, a nervous nelly when it comes to that stuff never been a big fan of uh risking my life so then we'd go on this side of the island let me show you here real quick there's a school i went to right there let me make it back. We go to this side of the island, Trefetherin, Trefetherin. I can't. This is where all the rich uh, summer people lived, and they had a uh, a, um, a sailboat camp that my mom set me up with one time. <laughs> 
And you had all these rich kids uh, that, I don't know what, Mukesh Gar trade, I don't know what that is. But with Trethred, they had this like, uh, it's like for the rich people, it's the summer kids, you know what I'm saying? All the rich people from Massachusetts. And somehow my mom set me up to learn sailing. And I hated it that I did not fit in. It was like a sore thumb. All these rich kids, they knew everything about sailing. I was like, dude, I don't know the first thing about this. And I just, after like two days, I think I said, I get no one. It was like me. I think it was just me by myself. And I was like, you know, they all knew each other. I, I did not fit in. It was embarrassing. I felt, I felt embarrassed. Um, and uh, I'll never forget that. So I don't belong with these people. Anyway, so one time we'd, uh, we come out here. This is Centennial Beach right here. Centennial Beach. One of my good friends lived over here here i think right there if memory serves the centennial beach and and uh what we do people would park their little uh dinghies right in here rowboats essentially um and we'd go and we'd steal <laughs> so we'd get we swim we get off centennial beach we swim to these little boats that are parked there let's see if they can show any pictures of any boats and then what we'd do is we would pull up their buoys because they'd have the buoys or the anchors in there to keep them at bay uh, we'd pull up the, you know, I guess you can't really see, but we'd pull up the buoys and we'd get on the boats, this is the summertime, and we'd take those little boats and we'd uh, row over to Little Diamond Island. Um, and then even, I don't think we ever went to Great Diamond Island, but Little Diamond Island. And this is the boat, this is the, the line for the Casco Bay Lines. It was crazy because I remember, man, one time we did it. I've, well, I only did it a couple times. Look, I, I was never a strong swimmer. It scared me. I'm not going to lie to you. I've always been scared like that. Uh, but anyway, and the boat started getting uh, taking water. I scared the hell out of me, man. I remember I started crying. I was like, get me out of here. Get me out of there. And they're like, you baby. They're all yelling at me. All my friends like, that was about what, eight years old or something like that. Long story short, I remember seeing the Casco Bay lines going flying through here. And, you know, flying is relative. But, you know, they were a big old boat. We were just on this little freaking rowboat taking water. I'm thinking, this is it. I'm going to die out here. And I just thinking, scared me to death. So long story short, um, I can't remember. I think I was able to convince. I can't remember what we did. I think I was able to convince them to at least drop me off like halfway. And I swam the rest of the way. But, man, it scared me. And then they went back out there, and I sat on the beach. I felt like a loser, but I was scared, not going to lie to you. We also had a kid who was kind of a bully, and I'm not going to name him. But he was kind of a bully. And, uh, and he's like, oh, you think I scared Like, rock the boat. And he started, I was like, oh, man, it scared me to death. And I said, yeah, I'm not doing that again. Uh, my mom used to always warn me, anytime there's lightning, get off the beach, because lightning will find the biggest target, which is be you if you're on the beach. That used to scare me, too. But anyway, so let's see if we can see any pictures of uh, my little neck of the woods here. I'm not sure we can. I bet not. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so. Um, hold on a second. I don't know if there's any pictures because central. So that is uh, Peak Sound School. I don't think I got a picture of it. Yep, there's Peak Sound School. There we go. I don't know if the. Anyway, that's a. That's the school I went to right there. Peak Island School. Nothing fancy. Looks exactly. That's where we used to play basketball. Right in. Or did we play basketball right here? I think we played basketball right here. That's where we'd go in. This is where we all gather right here. And I think we went in right in here. And that's the auditorium right there. Um, it's fun. Well, there, there's a better picture right there. Yeah, right there. So we'd all just kind of gather here. That's the school, man. K through six, K through five. And does it let me kind of move? Maybe not. Uh, guess not but uh that's uh one time we brought uh one of the highlights of my young life we had uh a basketball team we we're the peaks island goals we had a basketball team from uh, portland come down to play us one of the better teams uh in the city came down to play us and uh and we had a, a tiny, tiny uh, auditorium, tiny, but it was fun. And hey, one time, so after the jump ball, uh, I got a steal and I made a layup. Um, I can't remember the name of the team, the, the school. I don't think it's there anymore, but they were good. And I remember I got the – so I, after, after the jump ball, they got it. And then the kid, one of the kids threw it to their point guard. And I stole it, and I got a layup to start the uh, – to start the – the, the scoring uh, for this team that we were way underdogs. I forgot the name of the school. Oh, I can't remember. But anyway, and then we got killed. But it was fun because everyone's like, yay, because we never had a game there. It's like the first game they ever had, at least in my career, uh, going to Peak Sound School. And I got the first point. I felt like a real winner that we got smoked. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. At the end of the game, it was just, it was fun, man. You know, I was like fourth grade or something like that. Good times. So fifth grade. Uh, let's keep, you know, my glory days. So let's get out of here. Let's see if we see another pictures here. Um, 
Central Ave. That's where I, I know what we can do. We'll go down in here and I'll show you where my house was. There's a there's a church, St. Christopher's. That's where I got my first communion right there when I was, I think, 12. And there is, I, ever showed, I don't think I ever showed you guys this stuff, did I? I know I showed you Silver Spring where I lived, but I don't think I ever showed you this. So there's a church. There's where we used to skate. That would that's the uh, would get frozen up in the winter time. The parking lot for the church, and then we had that guy's house. That's our house right there. All right, so that's my old house right there, and that's the uh, and that's where we had chickens initially. This is the garden we used to have back there. Uh, I used to I mowed this lady's house one time, and she didn't give me money because she said I did not do a good job. And I probably did not, to be honest with you. But I remember I was like, dude, I was out there for two hours. What'd you expect? But she was mad because I didn't do a good job. We had a big garden here. My mom would compost right here. We had all kinds of bamboo in here, and this is a little there was a little alley that would go from from Central Ave over here to my a girl who lived was it there? I think it was right there or there who i uh i was and i had the hots for and one time she became my girlfriend uh when i was in fourth or fifth grade my dad was fixing steps here and i didn't know he was fixing them so he had them off and that night i had called her up and she, i said hey you know what are you doing she goes well why don't you come over i'm babysitting my my little sister i said okay so i came uh came out back our house and i fell i did not know there's any back steps oh i killed myself Lo and behold, though, I stepped in some dog poop that Doggy, my dog Doggy, had left for me as a present. And I went through the, the uh, little uh, path trail that we had here, which is always kind of creepy at night. I went to her house. I think it was this one, actually. I don't know. But I went to her house, and I freaking had poop all over my shoe, and I stepped all over her carpet. And I was like, oh, so it was just, and, she, and I remember sitting there, and she was like, what is that smell? I said, I don't know. And said, lo and behold, I had poop on my shoe and I stepped all over a carpet. Oh, geez, Louise. So let's just put it that way. We did not get married. <laughs> a good friend of mine lived right here. Yeah, right here. A good friend of mine who I just came in contact with a few years ago. He and his sister, which was fun. I saw their parents and they freaking looked awesome. I was surprised. Uh, they look fantastic, fantastic. Just great people. Very just loving family. You know, hippies is all, I mean, the true hippies. Love them to death. They're good folk uh, for sure. Weird, but weird in a good way. This is the first house we had back. It was one of these houses. Uh, I think it was this one right here. This is the first house we lived in that did not have. It had electricity, but didn't have running water or something. Like that. I can't, it didn't have running water, and it didn't have uh, insulation. And we used to freeze in there. Or is it here? I think it was this one right here. Because I remember there's, yeah, so we'd walk down this little alley. There'd be all kinds of blueberry bushes in the summertime. And there's these rocks right here. And I remember my mom said, don't fall. We walked down here um, and just pick blueberries to go see my friend right here. Yeah, that's what it was. And that was uh, actually was a summer home. Homes for summer people. They didn't have it insulated. So not good in the wintertime in Maine. If that is, I think my mom and dad bought that for 500 bucks. I think my grampy got very scared about his daughter living in a home without insulation with a young child because I was like, you know, one or two years old and that was a summer home. And then, uh, and then we used to go get sugar from this. I remember going to this lady's house a million times. She she had a garden. She'd give us food and sugar. I just remember going to get sugar from her like a thousand times. Uh, yep. Yeah, that, okay. There you go. That, and then we go down these guys house right here. I can't remember. I was just real young back then. And then we go from, we play baseball right in here. I remember, or was it right here? I remember one of these places, I think it was right here. We played baseball. It was freaking fun, dude. We just played baseball. And then at night, we and this is after I lived over here. So by then I was already living over here. So we moved from here to there, basically two blocks away. 500, 500 bucks, they bought that house and they bought this for 5000 in 1976 or something like that. Something like that um anyway so we'd walk down here and then we moved finally here and we'd walk through here to go see these guys yeah that's what it was um then i'll show you snake alley so my friend seamus lived right here they had foster these guys took foster parents i remember that um foster kids i mean i remember that and we never it's weird because they foster kids right across from us they had like eight kids there seamus had like five six seven brothers and sisters i can't remember 
Um, and then the, the, uh, that was a community center right here, which is where I learned, I, uh, took ballet lessons one time, but we didn't have any ballet shoes or tap dancing, but we didn't have any tap dancing shoes. Um, so I had to go in my galoshes. So to say the least, that wasn't embarrassing showing up in your galoshes for tap dancing. That was also a daycare center too. I remember that. All right. So we go through between Seamus's house and the foster parents. We go, this is the beginning. We'd walk through here. There's a kid named Richard up here. That was, we never really hung out with that much. I was an odd guy. An older kid right here who I was always intimidated by. I forgot his name. I, I remember his name. I'm not going to say it, but I forgot. I, I just, I don't remember him being mean or anything. I just remember I was always intimidated by, her, by him as a teenager. But if we walk through here, and this is Snake Alley was right. Was it right here? I can't remember. I think it, I forgot. Let's see. Where's the school? So there's a school right here. Here's Snake Alley. So we'd walk. Yeah. All right. So my house is right here. There's Seamus's house. We'd walk through here, walk like this. And Snake Alley was right here. Yep, that's what it was. Right there. Snake Alley was right there. So we'd walk through here at night. And I remember you'd be scared, man. Scared, scared, scared. Like you wouldn't believe. And I guess they no longer, you can't do that anymore. It's my understanding. They shut it down. All right, so then we lived, so then my dad moved to Portland, some crappy old place in Portland. And then he uh, rented a home. Let's see. Bud Light Park, a Bug Light Park. So let's go over here to where he rented a home. Is over, that's where he played Little League Baseball. And I'm going to go to Dean Street. Hold on a second. Dean, just right there. Dean Street, Portland, Maine. Is right. Okay, cool. So he rented, and I sure you get, uh, yeah, sweet. We can see that. All right, so let's go to Dean Street. So when I was eighth grade i think yeah and there's K there's nathan clifford's uh that's the school my brother went to right here for a couple of years when we lived with my dad in town so my mom is still on the island with my sister my brother ben lived with us my dad and me and he went to this school for a couple of years and we lived right it's not working there we go all right so let's see if we can get it to go there we go and uh we lived right down here oops and it was a uh like a dual thing but we had upstairs and so we lived downstairs my dad and i my brother and they had upstairs a family lived upstairs and uh i remember they had a band a kid had a band and they used to play in the basement which was just for me it was like heaven it was like heaven i they remember them playing the kinks playing acdc it was like dude that was i was freaking awesome that was when we first got uh cable in here and we got to watch the wwf it's freaking awesome uh watch the uh, uh usfl on espn watch the main mariners play it was freaking it was awesome i was like that was like heaven because we didn't have a tv for the longest part of my childhood and then we got cable it's like living freaking living large man got to watch cartoons that weren't just on saturday Anyway, so we used to hang out. All my friends would gather. We'd sit on this. Um, this is when I was in town. I never really hung out with the island kids anymore. I started to hang out with the the uh, um, the, the, the town's kids, if that makes sense. Um, and we used to hang out right here on the stoop and just smoke cigarettes, just begin to talk about what we're going to do to get in trouble. Anyway, so now we go over here and we we'll show you. Hey, can I never share this with you? I'm sure I must have. And what we used to do was it right? Let me go up here. As we go, yeah, right up here we go. I'm gonna show you what we used to do for fun. Ugh. Stupid. So we used to. This is the main road here, and the University of Southern Maine is literally right over here. And then the main law school is up here. We used to sit here and throw rocks at cars, and. <laughs> uh why did we think that was fun i don't know but cars would come down here and we'd freaking and we would it was we'd just sit there and just we'd chuck these i don't, I don't know what we're thinking and we're always whoever can break windows yeah it was crazy so we stand right here behind these trees on this little ridge thing here 
and cars would come down. We throw rocks at them. Oh, it's crazy. Then when when they stop, because they would stop selling, come chase us. We come flying. There's apartment buildings there. Come right around here. Oh my goodness! And uh, <laughs> stupid. Anyway, I had a good friend of mine who went on to play. I think Division Two basketball. He lived right in lived up here. I remember at yeah, one of these places up here. They lived in one of these places up here. I can't remember, but these are all duplexes or whatever they call up and down because this, the law school, I'll show you the law school, um, was right. That's the law school. Some ugly freak. Look at that ugly building. It's just monstrosity of a building. And who, ah, geez Louise, like who designed that? I think they used to think it was all cool. Like in their, I don't know. I don't even know what the architecture is called. Like modern architecture or something like that. It's just freaking butt ugly. Look at that thing. Just, ah. Uh, Ugh, I just it's just always a monstrosity. But someone thought that was cool back in the day. I don't know when they built the fifties or sixties. This is the University of Southern Maine campus right here. And then uh, what we do, we'll just keep going down here, and I'll, I'll stop. So we this is where um, that's two ninety five right there. So that's the main highway. All right, and then we come down here. That's where I know I shared this with you before. I must have. And this is where the Portland, that's our high school, that's where King, that's where we play football in Portland High School. And King in Middle School, which is the school right adjoining, adjacent to this right here. And that's where my dad, when I was a kid, would take us to see the Deering Portland uh, Turkey Bowl game every year. It's freaking awesome. It's like a tradition. It's, awesome. it's cold as hell. I used to love it, though. Anyway, that's where Portland High School played. I think even Chevrolet or my brother ended up going. I think that was our stadium too. I, I I can't remember, but anyway, I do remember Portland. So I played on that field a number of times. Playing is the operative word. Never really got a chance to play because I was just you know, like I'm not a not an aggressive guy like that. And that's King Middle School right here. And off in the distance, you can see Main Medical Center, which is right over here. And that's where the Portland Sea Dogs play. And this is Deering Park with all the. Uh, um, let's just put it this way. Men would gather together at night, if you know what I'm saying. So you'd always say, don't go by Deering Park in the night because there'd be bad stuff happening there, if you know what I mean, in terms of drugs and men engaging and stuff that uh, they should probably do in the comfort of their own home, but uh, be it as it may. And that's my little, exp you know, that's where I, I grew for the first uh, 14 years of my life. There's, is that Maine Medical right there? That's where Portland Sea Dogs play right there, double A team. I think that's Maine Medical. I can't remember. But anyway, that's where your old buddy Josh was uh, bo born and raised, Portland, Maine. Miss it. I do. It's too cold. And uh, it was crazy how uh, just uh, – I wonder how much the real estate prices are. Hold on a second. Let me see. Yeah, so they're saying the real estate price is uh, 374 in Dean Street. That's crazy, man. I mean – Whoa, 374. Nuts. Let's see what they are in Peaks Island. One second. So let's go to uh yeah, Peaks Island. Let's go. Oops. Oops. Let's go to Peaks. Peaks Island. Maine. Let's see what they are in Peaks. What the hell is that? 269 that's upper eight you know, is that all they got for inventory there now crazy man you know so it's uh 350 for this did i see 700 square foot 700 square feet for 350 crazy but i guess you got those i guess you're looking over the uh the water there that's gorgeous uh, I missed that something wicked. I can't tell you. All right. Well, there you go. So there's a, there's a tour of your old buddy Josh's main days. We'll see you.